Miss Turner's class. You need help with homework? It's Miss Turner's class. I got you. It's Miss Turner's class. What about if you didn't understand something in class? It's Miss Turner's class. I got you. Yeah. Hey, you guys, and welcome back to yet another video in today's lesson you guys are going to learn how to determine the value of a number and these are a few of our key terms that you're going to hear a lot standard form unit form and place value standard form is just the usual way of writing numbers so for example this number 429 is represented by the digits 4 2 and 9. unit form uses words and numbers to express a number in other words we express the number by giving it a place value within a number. For example, that same number, 429, is four hundreds, two tens, and nine ones. And lastly, place value is just the value represented by a digit and a number based on its position in the number. Let's get started. This video has three parts. Let's dig right into the first part, representing a number using a place value chart. So here's my place value chart. And in this particular chart, you guys, I start at ones and I go all the way to millions. And you guys might notice that as I am moving to the left, my place value is increasing. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions. You'll also notice that at the very top, I represent my place value with different figures or shapes. This figure is called a unit cube. It represents the ones place. This figure is called the tens rod. It represents the tens place. This figure is called the hundreds block. It represents the hundreds place. And this figure is called the thousands block. It represents the thousands place. And you'll notice that it takes 10 of these thousands blocks in order to make one 10,000. So I know that in order for me to get from thousands to ten thousands, I multiply by 10. But if I look back at my ones, I know it also takes 10 ones in order to make one of these 10 rods. So I know I'm also multiplying by 10 to get from ones to tens. Do you guys see a pattern here? If you said I have to multiply every place value, by 10, you're absolutely correct. As my place value is increasing, I'm multiplying by 10 every time. So I want us to look at this first problem together. Or actually this first number, 742. Where would I place 742 on my place value chart? Where would the two go? Where would the four go? And where would the seven go? That's right. Two, four, seven. The two is in the ones place, the four is in the tens place, and the seven is in the hundreds place. In the number 742, I have two ones, four tens, and seven hundreds. So I would need two of those ones or the unit cubes, four tens rods, seven hundreds, in order to make 742. Let's try another problem or another number. This number is 3,965. Where would the five go? Where would the six go? Where would the nine go? And where would the three go? That's right. Five ones, six tens, nine hundreds, and three thousands. So it takes five unit cubes to make five ones. It takes six tens rods to make six tens. It takes nine hundreds to make nine hundred. It 
and three thousands or three thousands blocks to make three thousands. Three thousands, nine hundreds, six tenths, five ones is the same thing as three thousand nine hundred sixty five. Now that we have a better grasp of unit form and place value, let's go ahead and solve some expressions from unit form to standard form. We're going to write the following expression in standard form, and then we're going to solve. So I have 7 thousandths times 10. And I know that in order for me to determine how to write 7 thousandths in standard form, I'm going to use my handy dandy place value chart. And I'm going to represent 7 thousandths on my place value chart. Where would I place the number 7 on my place value chart? If you said it would be placed in the thousands place, you're absolutely correct. And I know I have 7,000. So I know 7,000 in standard form is just the digit seven, the digit zero, the digit zero, and the digit zero, followed by a comma, 7,000. So now I'm able to rewrite my expression in standard form, 7,000 times 10. Now let's think for a second. I would be multiplying 7,000 by 10. Do you remember part one in our video? In part one, we learned that in order to get from one place value to the next, I will be multiplying by 10. Because 110 is 10 times as many as ones. Hundreds is 10 times as many as tens. Thousands, 10 times as many as hundreds. Ten thousands, 10 times as many as thousands. Hundred thousands, 10 times as many as ten thousands. And millions, 10 times as many as hundred thousands. So 7,000 times 10 means my seven would be shifted to what place value? That's right, my seven is being shifted to the set the 10 thousands place value because 10 thousands is 10 times more than thousands. So my product 7,000 times 10 is seven ten thousands or 70,000. Let's try one more. In this problem, we're going to continue to write the value of the expression in standard form. I have seven, nine tens divided by 10. Let's use our handy dandy place value chart. And we're gonna represent nine tens using our place value chart. Where will my nine go? That's right, easy peasy in the tens place. And anything after would just be a zero. So 90 tens is the same thing as 90. I'm sorry, nine tens is the same thing as 90. So nine tens divided by 10 is 90 divided by 10. We know from our previous problem that as my value is increasing on my chart, it's being multiplied by 10. I'm multiplying by 10. However, I'm dividing. And I know that when I'm dividing, my number is getting what? Yeah, it's getting smaller. But if I multiply, that means my number would get bigger. And I know that when I move to the left, my number gets larger. I'm multiplying by 10. So what would happen if I move to the right? When I move to the left, I multiply by 10. When I move to the right, I... You read my mind. I divide by 10. When I move to the left, I multiply by 10. When I move to the right, I divide by 10. Say that with me. When I move to the left, I multiply by 10. When I move to the right, I divide by 10. That's right. I'm dividing by 10 when I move to the right of my place value chart. So nine tens divided by 10 equals what? Yeah, it equals nine ones. Or 
9. 9 tens divided by 10 equals 9. Let's use that term blank times as many in order to finish our last part of today's lesson. In this part, we're just going to be comparing digits within a number using blank times as many. So in this problem, let's compare 4,421. And we're going to be comparing the value of each four in that number using the term blank times as many. I want to fill in this blank. And I'm comparing these two fours. This looks like a job for our handy dandy place value chart. Let's go ahead and represent 4,421 on a place value chart. I have one one, two tens, four hundreds, and four thousands. And remember, I'm comparing these two fours. The first four is four thousands, which is just four thousand in standard form. The second four is 400. So now I'm comparing 4,000 and 400. 4,000 is blank times as many as 400s. What do you think? Remember, when I move to the left, that mm, 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 mm. when I move to the left, that mm, 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 mm. <laughs> that's right. Four thousands is ten times as many as four hundreds. I think you guys are up for a challenge. Using that same logic about blank times as many, let's go ahead and write this number. Four hundred one thousand. 387 on a place value chart. And your challenge for today is to rewrite this number where the eight represents 10 times what it represents right now. Go ahead and pause the video if you need a little bit of extra time. Remember, your eight has to represent 10 times what it represents now. If it helps, sing that song. When I move to the left, that mm, 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 mm. When I move to the right, I, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> What's your new number? What'd you get? I'll show you guys what I got. Did you get the same thing as me? No way. In my original number, my eight is represented by my tens place. So I had eight tens. In order for me to have 10 times as much, all I did was just move my eight over one place value to the hundreds. So my new number is 401,837. When I move to the left, I multiply by 10. When I move to the right, I divide by 10. I'll see you guys in the next video.